How to with Commando Green. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Commander Green here. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to install the London mod for 911 first responders. That some people have requested to do a tutorial on how to install the mod into your game. It's basically the same as the Welshian mod. Um, how to install that? Pretty much exactly the same. I'm going to go for it anyway, just so you guys all know how to do it. So. Firstly, I'd just like to apologise for the mess of my desktop. Actually, it's quite that, not that bad, actually. It's quite nice, somewhat organised. And I hope you like my nice wallpaper, you know. It's pretty, pretty cool, you know. Kind of busted my name out there. Okay, so the tutorial, my bad. Sorry. So the first thing you guys want to do is head over to the link below in the description. And it basically goes to Emergency Planet to download, or download the way you get the mod. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get access to download the file, you're going to want to make an account of Emergency Planet. So up the top here, you're going to want to make an account Log on, once you've logged on, come to this link, so refresh the page or make your way back to this link up here which will be in the description below. Then you want to go to download this file. You're then going to click download this file and it's going to come down here. Let's just install it, download it again if you guys see what happens. So what happens, it pops down here and then you've got it downloaded. Wait for it to download, it takes, for me it's quite quick, it's a minute. Um, it's only about 300 megabytes so it's not that bad. Once you've got the um, mod and it's downloaded, you want to open it up and then you're going to get this, this here. WinRAR. If you do not have WinRAR, or have a description, a link to that as well, basically WinRAR allows you to open up uh, zipped files, which basically, which most mods come in nowadays in, in the WinRAR files. So if you don't have that, there'll be a link description to WinRAR, just install WinRAR yourself. If you don't know how to install WinRAR, let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that also. But I'm pretty sure there's loads of video tutorials on how to install WinRAR. It's quite self explanatory, just full of instructions. So once you have WinRAR, and you've got the mod, and you've opened up, and it looks like this, what you're then going to want to do is Leave that there to one side. You then want to open up your main directory for 91 first responders. So you've got to remember where you installed it. Some people may have installed it through Steam. Some people may have the disk itself, or you could have got it from somewhere else. I have it through Steam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Steam directory. So I've installed it into my um, gaming hard drive on my computer. So I'm going to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, 91 first responders, and there's a folder in here. It's called Mods. If you do not have that folder, make it yourself by just typing in a new folder and spending like so. But you should have it as mods. Once you've got that, open up the folder. All you're going to simply do is drag it over and plop in, and that will just come across and it'll be placed in your folder like this. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. Um, normally, you should realistically be doing it, but due to the fact I've already got it, there's no need for me to do it again. So once it's in there, let it drag over, and the files are going. And pretty much your game is your mods installed. Very, very easy, very quick. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go in-game, and then we're going to see... Uh, how to enable the mod itself whilst you're in game. So 915 responders, launch it either through Steam. I'm gonna launch it straight off the desktop. Um, let's see, if it, I think it's quite slow to launch. Hopefully, it's still um, I think it's adjust the resolution here. All right. Once you're on the main menu, what you're gonna want to do is go to modifications, which is here. Click on modifications, find the mod in the scroll down menu. So London mod, and then we're gonna what you're gonna do select London mod and click OK. I'll say OK here. I've already selected it. It's already enabled for me. Once you click OK. Or continue one of the option is click that once it does that it's going to take quite a while for it to load it could take up to five minutes for you some people for me itself it takes about a minute or two to load but some people it can take quite a while let it load if it doesn't load after about 10 minutes then most likely your game's crashed the reason for that is is probably a mod issue but most likely nine times out of ten it'll just take about five minutes to so overload once it's loaded you then go back to the main menu it'll, it'll basically automatically put you back to the main menu so once you're back in the main menu you can either go to the campaign or you can go to free play. We're going to go to free play so we can have a look and see that the mods work. So when I click on end this game, because you don't want the game end. When you load into the game itself, you should see a wonderful new looking background loading screen. So over here, the London mod we have itself. Obviously, you've got City London, you've got Metropolitan Police, you've got the um, London Fire Brigade, and you've got the London Ambulance Service. Cool little background there, a little of a bit of um, pictures there to kind of get you motivated, get ready for the game. Apparently, I've got um, some people who requested us to do some Kent mods, so I might just do that a little bit today, um, doing some. Kent gameplay and I get uploaded tonight. Alright, and there we go. We're now in game in London on now on first responders on the London mod itself. So I hope that helped you guys who are looking to install the mod. It's quite simple, it's quite self-explanatory, but some people obviously don't know how to do it. So that's kind of a tutorial on how to do it itself. And I hope you enjoy and have some fun out there in London. See you next time.